Dan, just 22 shots tonight. Obviously, we're able to put one in the net. What kind of a difference did you guys experience overall throughout the game without Tyler and Dylan tonight? Um, I mean, you know, anytime you're, you're without those guys, uh, those are some of our workhorses. But, uh, you know, on, tonight we were not able to find other ways to, to produce offense. You know, uh, whether those guys are in or not, we got to um, try to find ways to score goals and, uh, you know, try to be in games. So um, I thought Ned, Ned gave us a chance. He made some big time saves, um, you know, but we just, we got to put the puck in there a little more. How much more comfortable do you think he's getting day by day with you guys in front of him through practice, through games, just as comfort level from what you see? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think he's getting a lot more comfortable around here. Um, you know, he's playing with a lot more confidence. You can tell out there he's he's making big, timely saves when we need him to. Um, and he's been. I mean, he's been great since he's been here. So uh, he's just looks like he's settling in and he's he's playing really well. He's not. You know, he's not over uh, over pushing or moving side to side too much. He's he's playing real still and, and making good saves. You had a five on three midway through the second, and weren't able to capitalize. How much did that impact the outcome in the end? Yeah, I mean, if we we could have scored there, that would have been uh, obviously. I think maybe a turning point in the game, uh, give us a, a chance to maybe tie it uh, either in the second or sometime in the third. Um, you know, I, I think it was Zadina at the crossbar in the one. Uh, we had a couple of looks, you know, but, uh, you know, we just weren't, weren't able to put any in the net. Thanks. Hey, Paul. Okay. Could we get Flash talk about not giving their moment yesterday? It just seemed like right from the get go, they got, you think there was a big back? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a tough building to play in, and it's uh, it's a momentum building. You know, they came out right from the first shift there, um, kind of tilted the ice in our end. They scored a couple of early goals, um, you know, and uh, obviously, you know, we weren't able to really push back at all. So, um, you know, the, the way they started really benefited them. Uh, and, and for us, you know, obviously, we would have liked to come out a little bit harder, um, you know, and try to get a few more shots. I don't, you know, Trevor mentioned the, the shot count we had. We didn't have enough shots tonight. And, didn't uh, didn't get enough traffic in front of that. Make it easy. We, we made it too easy on. Huh? They didn't give you guys much time or space either, especially in that third. It seemed like. Yeah, 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 we yeah. They, I mean, you know, give credit to them. Uh, but uh, you know, I think I think we might have had a little bit more to give out there tonight too. Next, we're going to do some questions. Alex. Thanks, Kyle. We'll continue with Colleen St. James. Hi, Danny. Just. How would you assess uh, you guys are uh, 10 games in now right at 500? How would you assess how the first 10 games have gone? Um, I, I mean, I would say a bit up and down. You know, we had uh, a pretty good start there. And, you know, we had a big uh, a big win in Washington. Um, you know, even the Florida game on, I think it was Friday. You know, we come back and tie that and get a point on that one. I thought we played hard. We played really well. Um, you know, obviously we come into this building again and it was kind of the same story as last time. Uh, you know, Ned held us in there tonight. It could have been a lot worse, um, you know, as, as last week. But uh, it's been a bit of an up and down ride so far. And, um, you know, obviously we want to try to level that out if we can um, and with a little more consistency. And tonight wasn't maybe a good example because of who you were missing. But on the whole, do you like how you guys have been able to roll four lines, you know, and three defense pairings all in all? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, um, you know, uh, whenever, whenever those guys are back, um, that'll help obviously. And, uh, you know, it, it, it changes the, the look of our, our four lines a little bit. And, um, but yeah, like you mentioned, the, the depth that definitely gives us more depth when, when those guys are back in the lineup and we have a more of a balanced attack. Um, but yeah, I think we have, you know, four lines that can play and, and three D pairs and, um, some nights guys will have, uh, have it a little more than others, you know, and, and that's kind of where, um, you know, those guys will get maybe some extra minutes. So uh, we just got to try to, uh, you know, move forward here to Boston, uh, move on and, and, and get a win, and, uh, you know, get some confidence back. Thanks, Danny. Next, we'll go to Ansar Khan. Yeah, Danny, uh, looked, uh, you know, better defensively than the last game, but still uh, in the first period looked like a turnover and a, and a breakdown led to their, their two goals there. Uh, and when you're missing uh, the guys that you're missing tonight, you obviously the, the margin of error is, is is slimmer. I mean, how much did the mistakes like that hurt? Yeah, you know, getting behind the eight ball like that early, uh, it's it's tough to come back um, on the road. But you know, especially in this building, uh, fans are loud and they they seem to feed off that energy. So um, you know, like I said, we would have liked a more uh, more balanced start, more balanced attack there off the off the get go. Um, you know, that's, that's something going into Boston that we'll look to change is, is our starter for sure. Thanks, Danny. Last question, Max Boltman. Hey, Danny, just to follow up on that. I mean, I know tonight 
you talked about the building, but you guys have gotten behind, I think, these last four games now. Is there any theme to that or anything you're concerned with big picture? I mean, obviously, it's it's better, you know, when you can get the first goal of the game um, and try to roll from there. Um, that hasn't been the way it's worked out lately. And, um, yeah, but, uh, I mean, to your point, I think we, we definitely want to figure out a way to get some better starts here, uh, especially on the road, um, because in some of these buildings are tough to play in. And when you get, you know, behind early, um, it makes it hard. It puts a little more pressure on you uh, to, to score and the chances that you do get. So uh, if we're able to get a goal or two early, um, you know, that'll, that'll definitely help us um, go a long way on the road here. And then really quick, Moritz, I think, was named the NHL's Rookie of the Month earlier today. You've obviously gotten to play a lot with him. In your mind, like, what has he brought to, to the team in these first 10 games? I mean, he's he's just smooth out there. He's he's smart. Um, you know, the way, the way he skates, he's strong. Uh, you know, you can tell he, he gets it. He's got a, a, a great hockey mind. Um, he thinks the game very well. He sees the ice well. He makes good plays. Um, you know, he's got good poise, and he's confident out there. So, um you know, he looks, he looks like he's going to be a real player and, um, you know, hopefully he keeps it up. Thanks, Danny. All right. Those are all the questions we had for Danny. We'll be back shortly with coach Blashill.